Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be so today's video is going to be my everyday glam makeup look, and this is my glam makeup look. This is the look that I like to use when I don't feel like wearing eyeshadow. I know that this is still a full-on, you know, face, but this is my glam look that I really go to pretty much 24/7 because. Either A, I don't have time to do my eyeshadow, or B, I'm just too lazy, and B is actually more accurate. Also, make sure to stay till the end of the video. If you do like my lipstick, it's kind of like a matte lip gloss. I am going to be giving one away to one winner, so make sure um, you stay tuned for that. All you gotta do is follow me on my Instagram or on my Twitter accounts, and then I will be choosing one winner from there. As always, the rules will be listed down below. So I really hope you guys enjoy my everyday glam makeup look. Obviously, I don't wear makeup on a daily basis because I don't go out every day. I am that type of person that I either look super glamorous or I look like a bum. So with that said, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. I will see you guys soon. Bye. Alright, so I am starting off with a clean face. As you can see, I'm taking my number 7 Beautifully Matte Primer and this seriously keeps me mats all day which is the reason why I love it and I continue to use it I like to tap it into my face I feel like that's the best way of getting this product and really working it into my skin now I'm going to take the makeup forever matte velvets foundation with my L'Oreal infallible foundation and yes, I gave in and I bought the Makeup Forever foundation. I am so bad. But honestly, I loved it so much that I felt like I needed it. I, yeah, whatever. Don't judge me. So now we're moving on to concealer. I'm, I'm taking the Wake Me Concealer by Rimmel and my favorite concealer of life, which is the L'Oreal Stay Matte. And I'm applying this. Um, pretty much up into the sides of my nose. This is going to make it seem a little bit slimmer. I do have a super wide nose, so this just helps to slim out my nose a tad bit. And I'm using a concealer to really get in there and almost make a line. Um, kind of like when you are just contouring your nose, so that's what I'm doing. And then I just go in with my damp beauty blender and I start to work everything into my skin that way we don't have any harsh lines and everything is nice and smooth onto the skin now i'm going to take the elf high definition powder and this is in corrective yellow i've actually been using this a lot lately this week and i forget how much i love it when you know i stop using it i'm like this stuff is so good I have a video that I did months ago comparing this to the Ben Nye Banana Powder if you guys want to see that. Now I'm going to move on to bronzer and I'm going to take the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and I'm going to take this brush just to bronze up my face. You guys have asked me what brush this is and honestly there's no specific brand to it. It's just a brush that I got off of eBay but I will have the name in the description bar if you guys are interested in purchasing this set. It's actually really good quality for a pretty decent price and I love this one for blush or for bronzer. Now I'm going to take my Bohama Mama bronzer. You guys know that I love this. These are just my favorite combinations since about a month, maybe two months ago. I've been using this non-stop and I just really like how this brush um, chisels out my cheekbones and it just really contours my face. Now I'm going to take the e.l.f. stippling brush and I'm just going to start pretty much blending out the product so we don't have just a patch of bronzer onto the face and I do go and add a little bit of bronzer and then I just use a little bit more of that powder and I clean up around the contour. I usually don't do this but I've been doing it and I really like it and I will have a description in the down bar below as far as how I do my eyebrows. So I'm going to apply my blush and this is a Smashbox um, I don't remember the name of it, but it's a really pretty peach color and so when I don't wear any eyeshadow I do like to go a little bit more heavy-handed on my blush totally optional But I just feel like it adds more warmth to the face since I'm not wearing anything on my eyes Now I'm going to take the elf golden bronzer and I'm going to use this as a highlight 
and at the beginning I wasn't really feeling it it was just for me it was too light you guys saw that I love a super intense glow I do apply a little bit of that to both of my cheekbones but in a second here I'm going to take the Laura Geller Gilded Honey and I'm going to apply that on top of that highlighter and as you can see it just gives us a more dimensional look and it brings a lot more brightness now moving on to the eyeliner, as always I'm going to use the NYC liquid eyeliner and I am going for a pretty thick wing. Now I'm going to cur cur ugh, curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara to prepare them for falsies. And as always, I am using the Vegas NA Grand Glamour Lashes. Honestly, I love these because I feel like they go perfect with my big old bug eyes. So I think it complements them really nice. Now I'm going to apply some mascara to the lower lashes. And I'm going in with my lipstick. This is actually a matte lip gloss. And I am doing a giveaway. Somebody's going to win this specific color. So if you want to enter, make sure to follow the rules down below. And good luck to everybody. So that is it after you've applied your lipstick. This is my everyday glam look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And also make sure you're following me on Instagram, Twitter, and if you want to like my Facebook page. Thank you guys. I love you so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh,